Hello and welcome back to my kitchen again. Now I gave y'all the recipe the other day for the squeezy cornbread and while we were talking about it I told you how mama would make squeezy cornbread and her coleslaw and red pinto beans for the garage sales. Well I'm going to show you today how mama made her coleslaw. It's not a sweet coleslaw like the other one we made a few days ago. This one, you just shred up your head of cabbage. This is about a two and a half pound head of cabbage, but, but how big it is really doesn't matter because the, the process is going to be the same. You're going to shred up your cabbage, and then you're going to shred an onion in thin slices, and you're just going to put your onion over the top of the cabbage. And then you're going to take about, I've got a half a cup of salt here, pink Himalayan of course, and I'm just going to sprinkle it on here, just like that. And I would say it only took about a fourth of a cup. And you're just going to let that salt pull the moisture out of this. I'm going to put saran wrap over it, and I'm going to let it set for uh, two or three hours. And then I will drain that water off and I will toss it. And when we come back, I'll show you what Mama always used for her uh, dressing. And it's just something you buy at the supermarket, but it makes a wonderful uh, coleslaw. So shred your cabbage and get your onion on it and get your salt on it. And we'll put a little black pepper just for the goodness. And then I'll add some more later. And get this step done, and when we come back, you'll know what to do to finish it up. Thank y'all for stopping by the kitchen, and I'm just sharing Mama's recipes with y'all one at a time. I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm back to show you uh, the coleslaw. I'm going to show you, first of all, this is how much liquid that it pulled out. See the... See it moving in there? It got quite a bit of liquid to the top out. With cabbage, you can see it's pretty far down in there now. So now all you do, once it's, uh, you've drained all the water off, Mother always just used a bottle of Kraft's coleslaw dressing. And that's it. You put that around on your cabbage. Stir it up, refrigerate it, and you've got a good coleslaw that's not syrupy sweet. It's just a different flavor, and it goes so good with pinto beans and squeezy cornbread. And y'all got the squeezy cornbread video to watch, and I think I kind of told you on it how I make the, the pinto beans. So y'all need to try it. I'm going to stir this up. Get me a little spoon and taste of it and see if it tastes like Mama's used to always taste. But I need some black pepper on it. Black pepper makes anything better. It's kind of like garlic. You can't hardly really get too much of it. Unless you're the one doing the winding and then it, you can get too much because you get tired of winding on that grinder. Don't you like to smell fresh ground black pepper? It smells yummy. Okay, let me get me a spoon or a fork. And I'm just going to get a little bit of it and see if it tastes like Mama's did. And it is very good, but I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit salty. I wasn't thinking. Mama used table salt. And she just covered the top. Well, pink Himalayan is pure salt. So I would use about two tablespoons of salt instead of, I did a fourth of a cup and used half of it. Um, no, I did a half and used a fourth. I'd use two tablespoons of salt instead of what I originally put in because it's a little bit salty because of the pink Himalayan. But the cabbage is crunchy, and you can taste the onion, and it just makes a really good You can good add a little bit of shredded carrot, a little bit of red bell in there, or a jar of pimento for color if you chose. 
but mother always just put mama's was just cabbage and onion. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this quick little video. I'm making you a coleslaw that's not sweet. And uh, you know, like I said, Mom always had it with her pit toe beans, but it's good with fish and stuff like that too. So another salad recipe to try for the summer. And I want to tell y'all again, thank you so much for stopping by and visiting in the kitchen and hanging around till this got finished. And y'all be sure to check back tomorrow because there will be another good recipe waiting on you.